Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cheyenne. For today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning this car for my DMV drive test. This car is actually my parents' car. It's a Toyota Avalon. So that'll be a really cool experience and a really cool video to deep clean this car. I can't remember the last time it was clean, so I think this will be a very interesting experience. It's really hot right now, guys. Currently in my garage. I got my cold water right here with me. And, yeah. This should be fun. Start the video off with a little haul of car cleaning stuff. I have some stuff here from Amazon. But I'm going to start off with this. It's a car vacuum that my parents have had for a while. I'll show you guys how it works later. So, now with Amazon haul. So I'm going to start off first with this vacuum uh, from Amazon. It's a really strong car vacuum apparently from the Amazon reviews. The comments say that it's really good and it's really strong for its um, small size. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Comes with a little storage bag. It's pretty cute. And a little attachment at the end. This right here. This little hole right here. That is so cute. Also as an inflator, because it also comes with whoop, nozzles. That's super cool. Three nozzles as an inflator. So I have this, 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 and these connect to the back right here, and just simply just like so, and turn on. Don't ask me why there was a random plant just sitting here in a cup holder. I don't worry about it. Worth the price. I bought it for like $65 or $65 to $70 on Amazon. It was on sale. So, this looks pretty promising, guys. Can't wait to use this. And up next, I have Meguiar's Ultimate Interior Detailer. Apparently, it's really good and it's perfect for cleaning, like steering wheel, the dashboard, just everything here and I believe it also works on the sides of the doors, the car doors, so this is really, apparently it's really good. Next, we have this, we have Super Clean. The Chemical Guys Fabric Clean Carpet Upholstery Shampoo. And FYI, all these products, all these products that I bought on Amazon are going to be linked in the description. So if you guys are interested in buying any of these products, they will be in the description for you guys. Next, I have... This came as a set. Um, oops. I have this. It's a three-piece wire set. Wire brush set. And, um really good for getting like any like tough gunk from like the carpets or your seats we have these detailer brushes and they come in a set of one from six good for cleaning the dashboard the seats you know it's just it's the best way to clean your car because these brushes the bristles really get into like these tight spaces where like whereas like a wipe wouldn't be able to so it's a good idea to have these detailer brushes so I got those these um, air conditioner brushes so I'm gonna show you guys how these work later these oops, these brushes actually let's open these this actually goes in between the air conditioning like areas and like this you just like do that and it takes the dust off which is I think that's so cool and this is to just clean the insides. It really goes inside the um, openings. 
And yeah, that's the end of the little Amazon haul for the car cleaning supplies. I'm going to show you guys some products that um, I've already had in my house. Little microfiber towels. So this is going to be super, super useful because they won't leave any like lint residue. So yeah, these are really useful. I don't know where my dad got these from, but I will leave a link for um, great microfiber towels. And last but not least, I brought a little my little notebook with like a list of just um, like a checklist thing having a list it really keeps my mind organized I have a little list of what to clean okay let's get started guys so first and foremost I'm going to be emptying this car So guys, I just finished emptying the entire car, removing all the dirt, not the dirt, but like all the like extra items in the glove compartment, cup holders, the floor, the seats, the, the little like pockets on the side of the doors, like this one right here, and then, you know, I just finished. It is extremely hot, as you can see from my face, guys. Oh my gosh. It's extremely hot in this garage. Like, it's where I live. It's getting extremely, extremely hot now. And then last, last week, it was pretty cold, but I guess summer's here. So, here we are suffering. But it's okay, because the... The outcome of this is going to be great. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be wonderful. My parents are going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. The car is going to be happy. Everyone wins. So, this is what it looks like currently. Um, Everything's emptied out. There's no more mess in the back. Surprisingly, it wasn't that much. Before I get started, I'm going to take a little five minute break. Because, girl, it is extremely hot. Take a five minute break and I'll come back. See you guys in five minutes. Bye. Five minutes later. Hey guys, I'm back for my five minute break. So now that I'm all, I'm fine now, better. I am cooled down. Now I'm going to be taking out the floor mats and cleaning them up in my backyard. Let's go. Now I'm going to show you guys the current state of the floor mats. So this is what it looks like. This other side. And then this is what it looks like in the back. It, in the back is just one whole floor mat. Hey guys, 
So I just finished cleaning up the floor mats and I'm leaving them out to dry right now outside. So in the meantime, while they're drying out, I'm going to be vacuuming the carpet, the seats, and yeah. So, it looks like this project is going to lead me into the night, but that's okay. As long as I get this car clean, we can do that. As long as, as long as there's light, as long as I can see what I'm doing, we got this. Okay guys, so this is what the carpet looks like right now. We're going to add the this carpet cleaner by Chemical Guys, and I'm going to be using this hard bristle brush it has a really nice um, citrusy smell Finished cleaning the carpets and vacuuming the carpets. I had to revacuum them after I um I cleaned I added the carpet cleaner because it would leave some residue after I would wipe it with a microfiber towel and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is what it looks like. Hey guys, it's morning time. I couldn't, I wasn't able to finish it last night because um, it was getting too late, so I decided I'll just do it in the morning. So here we are. Today I'm going to be working on the seats and the interior, the dashboard, the sides of the doors, and the steering wheel. Let's go! I just finished cleaning all the seats. Um, since this car hasn't been cleaned um, for like ever, some parts of the seats were like really hard to take off. But I was able to take out most of the dirt, which is great. That's what we want. You know, I tried to take off all the dirt, but it just wasn't possible. And I literally have been working on this for literally probably two hours um let's look at the time hold up it's literally 12 53 p.m and i think i started around 10 or 11 and it was just the seats i've only been working on the seats all right let me turn this off literally only been working on the seats I'm just like, I'm literally exhausted, but it's okay. First, I'm going to be cleaning the air vents. So I'm going to be using this brush, I'll show you guys how this works. You're supposed to do this with a vacuum next to it, but since I am holding the camera on the other side, I'm showing you guys what you would do. 
But I'm going to do it off camera because I need to have the vacuum on my other hand. Now I'm going in with the McGuire's interior detailer and cleaning up the entire dash. Hey guys, update, I finally finished everything. I am literally so exhausted, but the important thing is I finished cleaning the car. I'm really, really happy. <sighs> it has been a two-day project, and I finally finished. This is what it looks like now. Oh, and I have figured out a way to solve the little stain issue. I decided to just use a towel that we got from Seaville with Shamu on it to cover the passenger seat and I think it looks pretty good guys. It looks way better. What an upgrade. Look how gorgeous it looks. I actually have another Shamu towel so I might have to cover this one so that it can like match. You know it can be cute. And yeah why not? I should do that. I'll do that right now. But yeah this is what it looks like guys. Sorry I'm out of breath. I am, yeah, I'm out of breath, guys, but it's been a long day, but look at this, look how nice the steering wheel looks, super clean, this is what it looks like, very, for a car that hasn't been cleaned in, like, ever, like, this is the first time it has been cleaned, I think it did pretty good, look, it is, um, you like, this is what it looks like now. Super sleek, super clean. The shape it looks like the silicone. So, this is what the armrest. It has some damages right here. Um, it's pretty worn out in this area. Yeah, this is what the back seat looks like. Clean that up as well. Vacuum it. Mm, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. So I put back all of the car um, floor mats 
and I put another chamois towel for the driver's seat. Isn't it so cute? Now we're matching. <laughs> so it's a chamois on the seat. Can't really see because I'm sitting on it. But yeah, both towels are the same, and I'm really happy with how it turns out. Um, this is what the floor seats look like. Mm -hmm. This is what the floor mats look like now. Very good. The back. This is what the floor mat looks like. Can't really see it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's all clean. So I'm really happy with that air conditioning because y'all, it is so hot. It says 82 degrees. That usually, you know what? It's it's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. It's like humid hot. So that's why it's like a little crazy but we are done I am done um it's not perfect but it's got, I got the job done I got the job done it's all cleared up um the dust most of the dust is like gone but because this car hasn't been cleaned for like this car has never been clean and this is the first time it's been clean all the dirt and all the junk that's been stuck on it for the past for the past like couple years um, it's really staying there, you know, it's really stubborn, but I was able to get um, almost all of it off the Only thing that I did do was the visor and the head, the head Just the roof, but there's really no um, dirt on it. It's just There's really no need for it to be really deep clean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this video and um yeah, I was, I'm really glad that I was able to bring you guys along. Deep cleaning this car for the first time, and I've never cleaned a car before, so it was cool to be able to share this experience with you guys. And wish me luck on my driving test on Wednesday. I'm gonna be filming that for you guys. Well, I don't think a test, but I'm gonna be filming like how my day went and the aftermath of the test. So stay tuned for that video, guys. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm